Uh, ha? No. The time for pleasantries is over. The time for war has begun. Arm yourself, brother, and listen to the litanies of the chaplains, for our foes are many and strong, but nothing can match the might of the crusade. Our weapons are forged for higher purposes than that of any Xenos, heretic, or witch. We will hunt them down and drag them into the light of Purgation's flame. They will try in vain to harm us, but our armor is contempt. Our weapons are hate, and our fury is righteous. Today, we are covering the Black Templars, a.k.a. how I learned to stop worrying and love the merciless slaughter of all things that aren't human. And some things that are human. The Black Templars are probably one of the most unique Space Marine chapters in the entirety of the Imperium. Shut the fuck up, I know about that. And that. And I guess that? I mean, Silver Templars aren't exactly... Never mind. The Black Templars are a chapter of Space Marines that say fuck everything aside from min-maxing killing every single enemy of mankind. They do not show compassion, they do not care. They show no mercy and they bind themselves to whatever war they are attached to until it is done or until they are dead. They are endless, merciless, and incredibly dangerous. To the point where Imperial citizens are like, it's secondary objective in comparison to that of every other thing that is to be done during any kind of crusade or campaign. Before I start foaming at the mouth like a raving lunatic, where did the Black Templars get started? Well. In the shattering of the legions into smaller chapters, you had major captains from the legions be put as the first chapter masters of ten or so new chapters. Each of these chapter masters are legends in their own right, but none stand taller, none are more important in my eyes, and you can go fuck yourself if you think otherwise, is more dangerous and explosively cool as the first chapter master of the Black Templars. My fucking Sigismund, the man, the myth, the legend who fought Karn to a standstill, almost killed Abaddon, and is responsible for the Black Templars being what they are now. He was a pious man, one of the first space marines to believe the Emperor was a god, and for that, Dorn abandoned him. But, in his most desperate hour, he was given a masterwork of a great sort. The greatest artificer armor they could find, painted black, and sent him to murder every single person who wasn't aligned with the Imperium until he died. This was during the Siege of Terra, and he didn't die. He just kept killing until there was no one left to kill. So as tradition, the Black Templars take after this exact ideal of heroism and savage displays of martial prowess. They do not follow the Codex Astartes, they do not care about the Codex Astartes. If you argue with them about the Emperor not being a god, they follow the simplest method to win an argument and fucking kill you! I love the Black Templars. They are probably in my top three favorite chapters slash warbands in the entire setting. So there isn't any key things I want to discuss with you. I just want to give you an overview so in short, you should know that the Black Templar's key feature is just being hype as fuck. If you could condense every single pop-off in fighting game history, then add religious fervor, that is the Black Templars. I can't explain in words how excited I am whenever Black Templars are involved in absolutely anything. They just bring a certain quality of zeal that makes things a lot more interesting. So, what is the difference besides the Codex Astartes being used as toilet paper? Well, for one, they were told no single Space Marine chapter was allowed to have above 1,000 members to prevent any single chapter from having too many members and too much power. You know, the Horus Heresy wasn't really that fun of a situation to deal with. The only exception to this rule is if said chapter is on Crusade. Well, the Black Templars, since their inception, have been on crusade. So rough estimates put them around five to 6,000 Marines in their armies. Though there have been some conflicting reports on that. Alongside that, they don't tend to train their scouts the same way other chapters do. They do have scouts in stealthier divisions, though they tend to prefer the crusader method, where neophytes, which is their equivalent to scouts, are teamed up with initiates, which are recently inducted 
abducted rank and file space marines. Those two are put into a squad with a sword brethren, which is essentially a member of their elite company, denoted by the red plating around their shoulder pad. Sword brethren are veterans and number one on my do not fuck with list of space marine chapters. Right after going up to a marine's malevolent and telling them you have contracted ligma, they learn how to engage in Glorious Crusade from the Sword Brethren, and the Initiates teach the Neophytes how to fight. It's so fucking radical. They have very specific reverences for chaplains. Because of their intense zeal and belief that the Emperor is a god, their armor is completely black, with only white iconography rather than the white shoulder pads of the other marines. Alongside that, they have the coolest rank in all of Space Marine existence. Essentially, they have this thing called the Emperor's Champion. This is an individual so blessed that he is given a divine vision to take up arms and assault the enemies of the Imperium. He dons Artificer armor and takes up the Black Sword. Sword, a very similar weapon to Sigismund's great sword from the Heresy. They then go out to kill literally everything they can until they are done. When are they done? When they're dead. This entire chapter is nothing but hyper aggro doom guys obsessed with killing demons, aliens, and anything they just didn't like on any particular day. I adore this. The black armor, the white shoulder pads, and God help you if you see the red trim on those shoulder pads. I think they are a fantastic aesthetic. If you look up Black Templar's art, you will not ever be disappointed in what you see. Currently, they are spread out, helping different sectors of the galaxy waging war and flipping off the Inquisition whenever they can, because only the Emperor's own angels can be trusted to do what needs to be done. A small side note that I want to bring up, there's this event that's mentioned in the Black Templar's lore but has never been expanded on called the Howling. It's when they fought a super psychic alien cyborg known as the Caco Dominus, and apparently it was like a Horus Heresy level threat, like it killed billions of people but the Black Templars killed it and now it's a chapter relic that you could just have. Cool. The skull of the Caco Dominus. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> They are one of my favorite factions, and I am not in the minority there. They are everything that is cool about Space Marines doubled and then tripled. They are unironically crusaders trying to fight a holy war on the side of humanity. They are a knife to the throat of every single horrible monstrosity that would do harm to our worlds. They worship glory and they symbolize their dedication by chaining their weapons to their arms until the ripping and tearing is done. Though. Don't tell them Sigismund got that specific tradition from the World Eaters because you may just end up dead, probably dead. I remember when a tech priest of sorts called out a chaplain of the Black Templars for tech heresy and it ended about as well as you'd think. I think the Templars are a wonderful faction with a wonderful aesthetic and their chapter master right now, High Marshal Helbrecht, is one of the coolest looking miniatures in the game. As well as one of the most able swordsmen in the history of the setting, mirroring Sigismund in all but name. If you like crusading, you like war upon war, and you like being so pious you can't even run psychers in your army because you miss me with that nerd shit, if you like knowing you're right even when you're wrong, play Black Templars, and for God's sake read the fiction. But that's just my recommendation. What do you think about the Black Templars? Think they're cool? Think they're cringe? Think they're overhyped? Let me know in the comments. It was a close decision if I was going to cover these of the Crimson Fists because both are interesting, but I have a plan for the Crimson Fists, so stay tuned for that. Alongside that, make sure to like and subscribe as it does help the channel substantially. And also, thank you to my channel members for supporting me in these dark days. And if you want to support me as well as gain access to my content early or even gain access to exclusive content, then become a channel member today. And regardless, thanks for watching. Till next time.